Hello, good evening everybody. Smiley here. Um, thought I'd come on and talk in the saw shed again a little bit. Um, got a few new subscribers. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, new job's going well. Got a, another week coming up. Um, we got some rain. It's rained quite a bit up here today. Um, fixing a few things and tinkering with a few different things, but um, thought I'd come on and then talk about a, another saw. Um, this was my very first saw that I got when I was 15. It's a still 025 and it's got an 18 inch bar, it's still a bar, it's pretty old. Um, this is a saw I got, it was one of my grandpa's, it was his dad's and I've had it ever since then. I wasn't able to start running saw till 14, 15 and I, I learned um, I, it's been a good saw. We, when I first got it, we had to take it down to the saw shop and have it, have it totally halfway redone, fix the carburetor, um, air cleaner, hoses, um, you know, new chain, cleaned out the tanks, put new filters in them. And that time... I didn't know a whole. I didn't know a whole lot about saws. I I didn't run it um, that much, but when I did, I I enjoyed it. Um, it's it's a pretty sentimental saw. I I logged with it. It was my first saw to take out logging. I mean, I I might have had a couple of saws, but getting back into it has been good and I I do miss logging it was fun um, but I've, I've gotten I've gotten way more saws now and it's it's awesome I've getting to getting to talk to people from different communities getting to talk to uh, Smitty chainsaws and firewood getting to talk to Aaron a Lynch um, getting to talk to Tasman again after such a long time. He has taught me lots of different things about saws, um, safety. I mean, he's, he gave me Sparky. He, he traded me Sparky. Sparky has been a fun saw. I've only ran it a little bit. Um, but yeah, this saw right here. I, I never really got to meet my grandpa's dad, but he, uh, super, super awesome guy. He, he was a mechanic too. And, uh, but he, the saw they bought, they bought brand new and they got my grandpa saw. He, he got the, my grandpa got an 036 pro. And so I got the 025. Got my grandpa's 036 Pro. I got I, I got an 044. I, I got the still 044 still. I still got to go up and finish a few things on it, and then it's it's mine. And uh, I got to go up and finish some brush piles to get it. But no, this has been a. I I didn't know about full wrap handles. I I didn't know. I I've seen saws with them. I I didn't know what they were. I, I didn't know. I'm, I'm still learning. I'm getting asked people to, by people to do a saw rebuild. I'm, I'll, I'll get there. I, I don't know what saw that I want to tear down and rebuild. I, I know this saw don't need it. Not yet. I, I retired it for a while and it, it's, it's only got an 18 inch bar. I could probably put a 20, but I, 
just keeping everything original on it. It's it's a cool saw. I been a long time ago that he ran it and it sat in the shop. It it sat for 15, 16 years, I think, in the shop and just sat there and I the lines got so bad that it, that I remember it costed that my grandpa took it down and had it redone for me. It was like $131.25 or something. I, I'm surprised I remember how much it took to get this saw going again. And need to clean it a little bit, but I, I take it, I guess I did clean it out a bit, but actually tear it down and flip the bar. And But when I, when I go out, you know, in the woods up here and ride four-wheeler I I went on a four-wheeler ride Memorial Day a couple months ago and it was uh it was pretty fun um got to go with quite a few people and I took this chainsaw and I strapped it on the front of the four-wheeler and I could have I probably could have used it and cut up some small chunks where we were going but it, it's it's a good saw um I, I got the 55 Rancher that my dad gave me. It's, it's a pretty good saw. I mean, I blew the clutch, but I got to get it fixed. And it's it's been a good saw. I had to take it to the shop a couple times. But, you know, happens. Um... Yeah, uh, just trying out new things. I got a, I got another saw I'm picking up this week, hopefully. I'm not saying what it is. Um, we'll see if I can end up still getting it. He's got to dig it up for me, but, um, I'm taking, I'm taking a saw in to get, to get done. Um, I do it, I just, I don't have the... I don't have the stuff and the tools to do it. Um, I will figure out how the how to get the tools here soon, and um, shoot, I can't believe it. It's going to be crazy. I'm going to be 20 next month. And it's it's crazy. My my bro, my brother's going to be 24. That's that's cool. I he came home for a week and. It was good to spend time with him and one of the new subscribers, it's his girlfriend that subscribed and I, I appreciate it a lot. I'm at 59 and about, we're about to hit 60. Um, just a few people that have, I've stayed in contact for a while is Tasman and um, I've got to stay in contact with Aaron A. Lynch. Haven't heard from John Bob in a bit, I, you know. Hope you're doing good over there. Uh, Mac 131. Justin Gearhead. Talk to you a little bit. Uh, pretty cool. Like the old Dodge. Um, Jay Ferris. I like the old truck. Tinkering, you know, you're tinkering with some saws. It's pretty cool. Schmitty, I haven't heard from you in a bit, but you did talk about wanting Sparky later on. That would be pretty cool. Um, I put some more oil on the Smiley Axe from Aaron A. Lynch. Um, I cleaned out cleaned out my wood truck a little bit and brought in some just axes and some saw gear in my shafts. Um, got them from Tasman. I that's, appreciate you. Thank you. Had the had the truck break yesterday. It happens, you know, old truck. My very first truck was a 1987 F-150 with a 351 Windsor carbureted style. Um, been, a, been a good truck. Um, not sure what, what's going to go on with it yet. Um, it's got a Carter B four barrel with a Holly intake. Um... I'm still learning how to 
work on a lot of that stuff. I, I've done valve cover gaskets, header gaskets, spark plug and wires. Um, change the starter. Since it's got headers, the starter was a really pain to change. Um, my newest truck I just got is a 93 F250, three quarter ton, five speed manual four wheel drive um i got a 91 ford ranger it's the four liter v6 i just found a transmission for that i am very excited to get this truck back up and running i'm picking up the transmission this week um but yeah it's uh it's coming along good um i think i'm gonna go out and cut some wood this week out on a deck and I think I'm gonna pull out the 025. It, it's it's been it, I haven't ran it for a while. Get a brand new chain for it. Um, I'm gonna drop a saw off at the shop this week, and I think I'm gonna run the 025. It, it's a small saw, but you gotta. I take, you know, I took the 044 break. It, it does have a Suga hard bar, and uh, I did I did buy one of the new Sugihara bars with Husqvarna painted on it. It's it's inside, I'll bring it out, start fixing up the saw shed here and there. I've been working on a couple of different things on ideas and um, I'm getting there. Uh, people, people think I'm crazy and having so many saws, but it's, it's a, it's, it's a it's a collection you know it's like guns it's like trucks older trucks that's you know a few guns here and there a couple trucks here and there you know picking picking up these old saws I, you know a, a saw i've been trying to keep my eyes out for is an 056 uh magnum v or v magnum i don't know how it goes but just having one is the thought of, of having one is cool you know I got a couple Huskies. I still got my Home Light Super XL. Um, yeah, it's and, and Tasman's got Home Light Super XL 130. That how I got that saw that I remember it got donated to a Goodwill and a guy like it. It just got left here. It couldn't get it running. It, it needed a carburetor rebuild and some other things and. Um, I didn't know, I didn't know what it was at the time. It, it's only got, it had a 20 inch bar on it. And so Tasman's got it now. And I got Sparky. Pretty cool. Pretty cool Mac. I like the 1010 automatic. He, he built that with bits and pieces that he had. Cylinder and everything. And yeah, it's been, been cool. Um, uh, it, it just means a lot letting you guys come and let me cut with you guys. It's, you know, it'd be cool to meet Aaron A. Lynch and Casterman. It, I've, Casterman's awesome guy. I mean, watching him with him, Max, sitting there on the freezer, revving him up, it, it's cool to see that. And, you know, Muffler Delete 101, you comment the other day asking if I can run the the ported mac that you know cool to hear from you guys you know it's go go check out go check out tasman go check out smitty firewood and chainsaws go check out aaron a lynch um go check out john bob millwright go check out justin gearhead um butler's outdoor canada i i did see a couple videos that tasman got um yeah go uh Go. there's a lot of people out there that in the community it's you know lots of people have stills lots of people have Husqvarna lots of people have pioneers this this saw right here I've been told it's very hard to find parts for it is a it is a pioneer p12 and this was my this was my saw that I got out of high school that it was a it got donated from another school and me and a 
good friend of mine, the pull start spring had shot out and I had moral of the story is, is I don't know where it came from except just through school and um, the kids messed with it while I went to lunch one day and cut cut some stuff but you know it, it'll be a that would probably be a saw I might tear down and rebuild if I if I get to it or get the parts for it I don't know it's it's missing it's missing parts um but this this still it's uh it's probably I'll be 20 next month and I've actually had it it was actually given to me way before I just you know safety and learning how to run saw and I'm having people asking me to they want me to come drop trees and that was one thing I was kind of working my way up to was kind of I got to do a little tree falling when I was logging and it was you know and it was fun I I got to experience a lot of lots of different things worked in Idaho Newport it, it was cool to see the you know learning learning about the different trees and now I work in a in a mill and it's a uh, it's a whole different experience, just even the first week, and it's crazy to see what, you know, lumber, I'm working with lumber now, you know, I, I cut four footers most of the time last week, I sanded anywhere from 16 to 20 foot beams, and put a, sanded them, we, we had uh, Makita sanders, I was working with the crew, and we were just sitting there sanding, and we had to flip them up. But I would say over a thousand pounds, maybe eleven hundred pounds. It took quite a bit to lift them and flip them to the other side. And yeah, it's it's a cool job. I uh, I had to get a I had to change up and get get a get a full time job, and it's. I'm getting a, I'm getting my daily driver fixed. It's getting a new transmission, new clutch, new slate. You know the everything that needs to go in it to make it run again. It runs really good. Um, I'll, I'll put a video up of the trucks that I've had, or try to figure out how to. I've had a 1976 Chevy three quarter ton with the small block 400. Blew the transmission. Uh, and actually yesterday, I don't know if it's the right one, but a good friend of mine has the truck now. And we picked up a turbo 350 transmission and uh, he, it, it might end up working. I don't know. It, I, I still get to drive the truck here and there. It's sat for 20 years and I couldn't believe I got it running. It took a lot of, took a little bit to get it running and it was rough when I got it. And then them old... Chevys, GMC Chevys, they're, the hoods bend, and it's like, man, why did they make them like that? Cool, it was a cool truck to get running. Um, then I had a 1975 Datsun 620 that I drove to work when I was working at the restaurant doing dishes for a few months, and I only got to drive it a few times, you know, old, old truck, and I sold it back to the same guy who has my Chevy, and he, he needed it back, and, you know, I, I put the new tires on it, did, did some of the maintenance to it, he, he mostly needed new tires, and so I put new tires on it, I got back what, you know, so it's, it's gone, so I'm, I'm back to the Ranger, the F-250, and the F-150, and, uh, you know, just having, having vehicles, and getting the experience to drive, lots of different things you know it, it's cool and you know it's like chainsaw it's it's a this is a saw i'm never going to get rid of you know it's it's a cool saw i i i don't think i want to i'm not going to port it i'm not going to do nothing to it i'm just going to leave it the same i might buy a new steel bar for it just just because if i can get one if i can get a steel bar for it you know, I, I don't want to put an, I don't know, I'd put an organ bar on it. I'd put an organ. But 
I wouldn't. I'd put a Sugi. I'd put a small Sugahara bar if they had one. It'd be cool to match it up with the big with the big brother saw, the O44. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, I just wanted to come out here and ramble a little bit in the saw shed. Um, things are things are changing, and I think they're they're going to be good changes. And I've thought about this channel of what's going to happen and. Tasman is the one that he's like, hey, you should start your own channel. And, you know, I, you know, I'm not a, not a big person to be around a lot of people, but you know, th this is fun to do. It's, uh, I, I got to go down and see him the other day and mess with this little Mac, well, this Mac 250, still missing parts be cool to get get some parts for it to get it running and um yeah that's it, it's a cool saw and we got an old oh well we got another o, 025 back here huh it's a different uh it's a different model but i don't know where it came from Probably not. It's not mine, but or 026 or I don't know. But the saw, I just wanted to come on and tell you a little bit about it. Um, thank you, everybody. I I appreciate it. And the, the whole smiley thing, I got that nickname through logging, and I thought about changing the name, but I've been told to just keep it. You know, the the axe the axe is cool for Marin A. Lynch. I I want to get. It would be cool to have another one made or, you know, I, I need to get something sent. I, you know, everybody's sending stuff. I, I, I just how I learn and try to make stuff. I, I don't know what to, what to do. I'm, I'm it, I can't wait to get that 372, I had the 372 going. It, it's I've, brand new out the door. They're like 1100 bucks. And I I ordered the whole kit and sent it sent it on to Tasman and his brothers putting it back together and we've we've had a crazy fire season it's been pretty scary but you know we've made it and I'm just glad everybody's doing good out there and um, thank you for the new subscribers and go check out them channels you know uh, awesome guys to hear from and a couple new guys I appreciate it um, Kevin Maxim. He, he's new to the channel. Um, he's, he's talked a little bit, and I don't know if I know him or not, but thank you for the comments, and uh, thank you, everybody, for the love, support, and uh, go check out my channel. Um, hit the subscribe button. It, you know, I, I'm not too crazy to get a whole lot, but just having 60, 59 people watching my channel and people that don't subscribe but still watch it I, I appreciate it and comments and the likes and just seeing the views one of my shorts has got like 590 views and that's the most and it's the still 044 can you believe it's the still 044 i mean every time i bring that out it's you know i think i'm not sure it's going to happen for it yet but it's uh it's cool saw um anyway thank you Hope everybody has a good start to their week. Smiley rolling.